Hey, why don't you come around to the side? How you doing? Just uh, working on a tune. Good, man. All right, well, I'm gonna go show these guys around Rockford. Great. So I was a little surprised that uh, when the Washington Post uh, asked me to be a part of the article uh, with my dad about uh, showing people around Rockford, sort of a tour guide, if you will. This is a place that I really care about. You know, this is my hometown. Uh, maybe living here and, and being here, you know, in the day-to-day, -day, you kind of take some things for granted. So it was nice to sort of take a step back to think about the things that make Rockford special. So uh, what do you say we sneak in a few holes of golf? Golf Digest magazine has called Rockford the best mid-sized city for golf in the entire country. Aldean Golf Club is just one of the reasons why. Championship layout, amazing conditions, and low green fees. Low green fees are key because you need to bring some extra balls to play this track. I don't know about you, but if a city has interesting places to eat and drink, I'm always happy. And uh, Rockford definitely doesn't lack in that. And you definitely won't go away hungry. Carlisle Brewery. It's a real original Rockford beer brewed right here in Rockford. It's one of my favorites. It is delicious. So this place is one of my favorites because it's cool. It's a real original Rockford place and uh, my dad's part owner. He and a group of guys got together to sort of resurrect it when it was about to go out of business. They called themselves the Lingonberry Group. So they sell 14,000 orders of these Swedish pancakes a month. That's a lot of pancakes. some really cool uh, museums in Rockford. Uh, like the Discovery Center Children's Museum is the best in the state of Illinois. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that uh, my kids haven't discovered it yet. So let's go check it out. Hey, cool t-shirt. Thanks. It's a cheap trick shirt. They're from Rockford. Yeah, I've heard of them. You know anything about Discovery Center here? It's my first time. Do I ever? Come on, I'll show you around. This place is so big and so much fun. Parents Magazine rated it the fourth in the whole nation. But what do they know? Discovery Center is number one in my book. So what's the deal with the Berkeley Museum of Natural History? Oh, that's cool too. Have you seen Jane? She's 60 million years old. That's older than you. <laughs> It'd be nice. So Jane's a juvenile T-Rex, right? Yep, Jane's pretty scary. It's hard to believe she was just a kid. Hey mister, do you like art? The Rockford Art Museum is amazing. They have a great permanent collection with an emphasis on 20th century American art, great stuff from the Impressionists, and the glass collection is truly awesome. Now through April 2013 is a ridiculously amazing exhibit at Burpee Museum about my dad's life in rock and roll called Rick's Picks, a lifetime affair with guitars and music. People are saying it's way better than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Needless to say, I'm pretty proud of my old man. I can't believe she didn't tell me about the new river walk. I almost forgot. Be sure to check out the new river walk. It's just outside. Very cool. She's good. Really good. So, uh, what do you say we go get some coffee? Got just the spot. This is my favorite spot to get coffee in Rockford. This is Octane. Let's go get a jolt. find a lot of people from Rockford's creative community in downtown Rockford, all mixing in with lawyers and business people. I like it. 
There you go. Love it. So we're heading over to uh, Anderson Japanese Gardens, which is the top-ranked Japanese garden outside of Japan. And it's right here in Rockford, Illinois. And uh, they were smart enough to say, well, we have this beautiful property. Let's start a summer concert series. It's kind of a, a mini Ravinia is kind of how they modeled it. And uh, turns out that it uh, was a pretty good idea. And we have a ton of other cool venues and theaters. The clubs can be pretty cool. And one of the more unique things that's going on lately is uh, you can hear Bunny Carlos's Monday Night Band on, you guessed it, Monday nights at places like Mary's Place, which is Rockford's oldest bar. The BMO Harris Center hosts everything from ice hogs hockey to rock and roll shows to the ice campaigns. Davis Park is awesome. It's a beautiful outdoor venue down by the river that hosts Friday night flicks and it's free and all kinds of music and festivals. City Market's great, and that happens on Friday afternoons just across the river from Friday Night Flicks. So a lot of people start their weekends early there. The carrot logo is just a visual pun on Rockford's old nickname of Screw Capital of the World. We're not the screw capital anymore, but we still have a lot of nuts. Since 1927, the beautiful Coronado Performing Arts Center has played host to legendary performers from the Marx Brothers to Louis Armstrong to my dad's band, Cheap Trick. You'll never see a more spectacular vaudeville era theater, and you'll definitely never see another one with Rick Nielsen's personal checkerboard seat up in the very top row. Look, I'm a writer, so I know how hard writing can be, but I can tell you this, if you come to Rockford, you'll have fun, you won't be bored, and you will feel welcome. Well, there's a lot to discover in Rockford, but I have to get back to the studio to finish up the music for this piece, so I hope to see you soon.